Hey y'all and welcome back, welcome back to another reaction video. And support a black owned business. <laughs> I'm your host with the most Natalie Love. Yes, there is another reaction. I've been hitting y'all with these reactions real good, huh? You can't even say that I haven't because I was like, if I'm going to sit here and watch TV, why not watch YouTube with y'all, okay? And I stumbled across this video called 14-Year-Old Parker Stands Up For His Rights, okay? Uh, a lot of us growing up in a household know at 14 years old, you ain't got no motherfucking rights, okay? But when I seen this video, it was very much so cringy, so I was like, I think I want to react to it. I want to react to it because I was talking to the TV the entire time that it was playing, okay? Just because I kind of want to do different reactions. Still the same because y'all know I'm going to be me. But before I get into all of that, let's get into the fact that I got merch at thenatalielove.com, okay? Thenatalielove.com. Make sure y'all go there and pick up a shirt. Cue the commercial. What the fuck is up, love family? As y'all already know, this is your girl, Natalie Love. And yes, I've been gone for a minute, but bitch, I'm back with the jump off. Not only that, bitch, I'm back with motherfucking merch, okay? Y'all love Teeny so much, I got her on the shirt. Y'all love being from the new revival tree of life, institutional double rock on the side of the road, missionary Baptist church of Mount Calvary. Bitch, I got a shirt for that. Do the Lord allow cussing? Wow. Okay, fuck it. But I got shirts. Y'all make sure to get off your ass or stay on your ass. Just stay on your phone and go to that website and look up some shit about me and get a shirt. So if you have not already, go get your goddamn shirt and stop fucking playing. Let people know who you belongs to. Okay. Anyway, um, in this video, uh, as I have stated myself, because a lot of people don't like to identify with that part of themselves, I do have narcissistic tendencies, okay? I'm not going to blame it on astrology. I'm not going to say it's, oh, because I'm a Taurus and I, fuck that. Some of y'all got some bad, horrible, nasty-ass personalities and want to blame it on the stars and the moon and shit. Fuck all that. You wasn't shit before uh, everybody woke up and wanted to be astrologists and all this other shit, Okay. So, with that being said, certain shit I can identify and I identify with differently than other motherfuckers. So, we're going to watch this together. It is a lengthy one. So, if you ain't got a couple of minutes, then, bitch, come back later, okay? Let me prepare my motherfucking sea moss gel. No, this ain't no promo. I made me some my goddamn self, and this is to keep me from fucking snacking. So, I'm going to have me a little sea moss gel infused with some goddamn fruit, okay? And... It's damn near like applesauce and my sea moss the way I do it. I think I put it in a vlog or something, but it doesn't have that sea grainy kind of taste. So it's real good. Um, That's what we're doing. And we finna get into this motherfucking video. It's real citrusy. I put lemon in it, if you ain't see that. So let's go ahead and get into this video again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the motherfucking channel. Because we the love family. We the love gang. We the love coalition. We all of that shit. All of it. Okay? And if you want to continue to hang out with us, that's the only way you're going to know if I post a video is to turn your notifications on. Or at least subscribe because I'll show up in your subscription. You'll see this all the time. Okay? That's a good thumbnail. Keep that, Natalie. Mental note. Keep that part. Keep that. Okay. Anyway. So, um, there will be frequent pauses. So this video may be longer than it is on here. If you got a problem with that, look up what I just said, 14 year old Parker and all that other shit. Okay. Cause you ain't got to listen to me talk. You can just look at the video straight through, then come back. Or you can look at the video with us first, then go back and watch them. Cause they already got 42 million views on this video. They don't need no more help. I do. Let's get into it. This, this is where I seen it from when I started. Okay. So you're taking the phone out. Is it? He had a phone in his boot. He country for real. They got to be in Texas. Cause he got lokes. He got the police lokes. These are clearly police shades. <laughs> At 14 years old. Yeah. He in a podunk part of fucking Texas. Do I got to fast forward it again? Oh, okay. Why do you have the baby? 
Granny, now's not the time. You need to come in and we can talk about this, okay? The kids told me that you want to live with him. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we'll why talk about is, him inside. Why is him? Why is that okay? You want to live with him. Do what now? I don't want to get out. I'm sorry? I don't want to get out. I'm sorry. The okay. So, like I said, I reviewed, I had seen this video, I reviewed it. I've seen the video, but I wanted to review it with y'all. But some of the stuff, I'm not going, I'm not trying to give it away, spoiler alert or nothing like that. So, I'm going to go along as if I have not seen it. At least I'm going to try to. What the fuck is he supposed to do? What the fuck is Peter Griffin supposed to do? Why are you back here? And I can tell he a problem because she's referring to his father as him. Being a narcissistic person, you're trying to get up under his skin because his son want to stay with him. Off the rip. Off the rip. The, you're you're, you're trying to be hurtful, bitch. To make all the decisions. Y'all in these shades. But you need come to come out. Then it's time to come home. Okay. Uh, what's the camera for? Oh, don't worry about it. Hmm. Doesn't matter you need what to the come camera home. for. Dork, get, get your ass I'm back. I'm sorry. I don't want to get out. I understand. But it's no longer visitation with uh, your father, and it's time to come home. Oh, now your okay. father. You remember now. All right. Why is the baby you outside? Talk about this? I'll listen to I'll listen to what you have to say, but there's no way. There's no way that you can just roll up and everything's fine, and you can just roll up and say, "Oh, I'm not going to get out of the truck." And this mama is not going to say, oh, okay, bye, kid. Bye, kid that I've raised for 14 years. See you later. Okay. I'm just not that way. So he's in the car with his daddy, which means you're not raising him by yourself. At least it sounds like that. You, you're not raising him by yourself. So why in the fuck you didn't already called his dad him? It's already been disrespectful towards him anyway because you got an attitude that your son don't want to get out of his father's car. Yeah, the son that you raised for 14 years. For whatever reason, don't want to stay with you. And I think I can see behind you the reason fucking why. It's a reason that he don't want to be there. And instead of you identifying the problem with him and your son because you're already talking to him like a customer service representative, I completely understand and I, I understand. No, you don't, bitch. I don't want to. I don't want to be here no more. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore, any longer. I don't want to do this. So don't tell me you understand that you came out here to rectify this kind of situation with a baby in your hand. Cause I feel like the baby is a guilt trip, and he's not the baby's father. He her brother. Take that baby in the goddamn house. Or better yet, give the baby to his da her daddy. And let them go in the house. Because this has nothing to do with him. Nothing. What, what, what are he going to do? Get him out the car? I love you. And you obviously have done a lot of talking this weekend. That's fine. Maybe there's some stuff that I last, need to Last know. time, I'm going to give it a second. I'm going to let it play a little bit. Because somebody going to say, uh-uh, as a step parent, they got everything to do. Shut the fuck up. That's a lot of y'all motherfucking problem. And a lot of the problems that your spouse or significant other is having is because of you and this. This don't have shit to do with you. They had that child before you came to fuck along. Now, if he putting his hands on her, if he doing some shit to her, if he talking crazy to her, if they get loud, whatever, whatever. Cool. That's your time to shine. Whatever goes on in that place of residence where you pay bills at, that's your time to shine. She is literally talking to her son and his father. You can stand in the doorway. There's no reason for you to be right here. Oh, what's the camera for? It ain't none of your motherfucking business. He ain't spoke. He ain't said nothing. There's no need for you to be out here. It is okay for you to be a step parent, but, but keyword, step parent which means step the fuck back and let us handle this shit sometimes there's a certain step in the name of love bitch there's somewhere you supposed to step at and it's not stepping over the wrong, the wrong boundaries this ain't the time for you buddy because you are probably the root cause of a lot of this shit and don't even know it and i'm not saying root cause between the dad and the mom your root cause is, is this little boy right here but i'm not letting you just Drive it's a time off. and place for you to step in and That's step the fuck happen. out as a I'll step parent. And we're 
somewhere too close and this is not the right way to do it. This is a kind of a underhanded, in my opinion, disrespectful kind of a way to do it. To just, oh, by the way, hey, I'm out of here. You just told him that you're not the kind of mama that'll let him leave. And that's not your fault. I'm almost certain that you were um, told that this was going to be an okay way to do it. And it's just not, this is just not very appropriate. So now you're so placing you blame on his car. daddy. How, how do you want to? And his huh? daddy still ain't said nothing. Because you're basically well, telling me that I coached my son into wanting to leave your what's house. what's going on with you that's causing you to feel this way. Maybe we need to talk to the youth pastors like what we were talking about last week. Maybe Why does it have to just be a youth pastor? On. You may need a little help, too. I can help. All right? You need to get out of the car. All right? Come on. to get out of the car and come home. I don't want to get out of the car. Huh? I don't want to get out of the car. Okay. Huh? Sweetheart? You hear what he's saying? I hate to I hate to say this, but you're being real ugly right now. Now this we know as black children, you, you wouldn't have got this you much grace. Come home now. <laughs> She'd have went through that you window. Get your ass out of this fucking car and stop playing me. with me. I would hate to have to do that, but I sure enough will. Call him. Huh? Call him. Huh? Okay. Caleb's going to get into some trouble because he knows that he has to return you at 2. You're, he's at home. It's 2. He's outside of your right house. At all, sitting there How is he going to get in trouble? You're still fucking thing. with this man. What you're encouraging him to do. You don't have I, I, I can't force him to get out of my car. Yeah, you I'm, can. You're his father. I, he is a minor. You can say, you get, have to get out. We have to do this. It's a reason room. my child is scared to come in the house with y'all. You can responsibility. You can choose to do that. It's a reason he don't want to be in the house with y'all. That's fine. Let's go, Parker. Parker. And because it's the reason he don't want to be Let's in the house go. with you, I'm not going to force it's my son to get out this car. This is not the way to go about this. What is the way to go? I already told you to come in and tell me what your concerns are, to come in and talk to me. I don't think it would be that easy. If you want to be, no, because it's time to go in. I told you guys last week that we had things to do Sunday. What do we have to do? Well, for one thing, we're going to Nani's for like a barbecue. For Another like thing, a barbecue. We're going swimming. We had like fu family fun plans. I don't want to go swimming. Uh oh, sister. Smell for the camera. You still antagonizing the daddy. For what? Your issue is in the passenger side seat. You have the non emergency number for the police. Here they go. Let's call the cops. Because his dad brought him home in too and he didn't want to get out the car. So what lie you gonna make up on this man? Where's that Bubba? See that Bubba? Hi. What'd I say? The baby a guilt trip. Hey. Daddy's gonna call the cops. You need to you need to get okay. out. Okay. You need to do the right thing. Bitch, you just lost me. You've been referring to his to his father as Caleb, him. And all kind of other shit. The influence as to why this is happening. Daddy's calling the cops. Da Daddy's calling the cops. No, his dad is attempting to tell him, do what the fuck you feel is right, son. And you're not going to give him the respect, but you're going to respect this man that's standing out here spectating the shit. Attempting to be hurtful to the man that you don't love no more. Do you feel, you know how we talk about, you feel in your heart if this is the right thing to do or not. Do you think that this is the appropriate way to do this? Yes. You do? Really? If he's answering you, you why? You do? I hate that. You wouldn't just Don't patronize me like that. You heard what the fuck I said. I don't want to go. You've asked to not go before, and I have. I have never noticed. You know, you have, sweetheart. You've been doing this for a lot of years. Maybe you've forgotten some stuff. But that is just not. You allowed. asked you not to go before. Not show up. What is what we is your issue with him? That, you didn't have to say that in front of him. Right it's a lot of shit in front of him. She didn't have to say throughout this video. But like, you're attempting to be you hurtful. Tell me. I can't see you through this dust. Could you please roll this down a little bit? Roll it down for what? The window. Now the window too dusty. You tell me. What do you think the right thing to do is? You know what the fuck he look like. I don't know. You think the right thing to do is to just tell your Using the baby. goodbye? Uh, uh, do you think that... 
that you're not going to live with them anymore? Oh, I'll still be able to see them, but when? On visit, but you won't see Mallory because Mallory doesn't go on cable visits. A way to maintain control. Use any mechanism you, think, you can to make it feel bad. Same? Do you think that the, the same relationship you would have with Caleb if all you did was FaceTime him? No. That's not the way, that's not the way life works, is not on the computer. I know you love Caleb, and it's real easy to be real angry with me and Jason right now, because you're 14, and sometimes it's real easy to be angry with everything whenever you're 14. Real life is going to happen no matter where you go. You're going to have to get your laundry done. No matter where you go, you're going to have to do your homework. What the fuck does laundry and it's, homework you know, have to do with that? You don't get a real life depiction of that over at Caleb's, honey, because you don't have to do anything over well, there. we don't fight. Well, honey, maybe it's because you we don't, don't have fight. real life over there. Okay, well then, give it two weeks. No, I'm not going to. You well, are my we don't fight. and I will not. I knew it. It was a reason. Give over to somebody that there are adult issues that are not anything that you need to be concerned with right now but if i thought there, for a second that that was an appropriate place for you to live y'all gotta stop with that shit you literally have been putting your boot on his daddy's back this entire time now you're gonna say there's adult issues that you don't understand i've been sitting here listening to you handle your adult issues i see how you feel about it Stop telling these kids what they don't understand. Y'all raising babies, walking this six I, I months. I don't think that an industrial engine business is a good place for a child. Is military school a better place for him to go? Right. He's not going to military school. Okay, well, I'm glad, glad to hear that. Nobody ever said he was going to military school. Okay. Yeah, I said that yard and I'm going to look at some. No, we never did. Yes, you did. You said it. The other so day, you and I were laughing, and I said, oh, my gosh, boy, you're driving me crazy. I know why people go to military school. After we got done. No, it was a joke, Parker. Well, Just like whenever you joke. If you, come if up the way you me, joke is make... the way you talking about his daddy, I would be confused, too. I don't know if you hot or fucking cold for real. It was a joke. Why in the fuck joke about sending him the fuck away? Now you mad because he want to go. Use your words. Never send you off. You are my child. You are my firstborn. The fuck they got to do You're with the You're my heart walking around outside my body. The sympathy. Are they on their way? Here goes sympathy. You're my heart walking outside my body. I would never send you off. I sent you to summer camp one time, and that was hard. He's not, a, he's not, we have not standard orders. He needs to, it doesn't matter. We need a patrol car. Then she we killing me with these orders. We have orders. Well, he is free to go. He's not. He's a minor. He, no, he's free to go exit the car whenever he wants to. And and he's going to. He's not being restrained by me. I'm just filming. That's I'm, all. I know. Doing. That's all you're doing is filming. I know. I know your game. That's all you're doing. But the fact that you believe are that you the game right is now, with him. Or are you drunk? Which one is it? Will you take either one? Will you take a drug test for me? Will you? Will you realize? Are you high? Or are you drunk? But I know your game. Well, what kind of game are you fucking playing? Because is this really what we should be talking about? Why you can't get your son out the car? You you don't see the reason why when he said we don't fight? You attempting to pick a fight with me? Recording this and watching you. You trying to you're trying to say anything and everything to antagonize and piss the daddy off. So he'll dry the fuck off with him. Now he kidnapping him. Y'all can believe what the fuck y'all want to believe. Oh, there's niggas out here that's dead beats. Some of y'all beat them to fucking death. And then they don't even want to deal with the child after that. Just to not to have to deal with you. The boy is 14 years old. You mean to tell me he can't make no decision that he don't want to live with you no more? And you couldn't just say, okay, go spend two weeks with your daddy. Let's see how that work out. You may be surprised. Get a child a goddamn chance. Then he works in the industrial engines. If you, if anything, you don't like how he may be living, but I bet you he can afford him. I'm not taking a drug test for well, anybody. And who the if fuck are you to ask me to take a drug test? Anything. You better go over there and now, talk to daddy. now is weed is legal and, you know, it's God's plan. How do you know? Because... 
you're on Facebook screaming about how I need to, you know, all these horrible things. Why do you, we have no, you need to what? We have Why do you know about his Facebook? Where do daddy be at? Where, where, where do daddy be at? Somewhere singing in the background? Where do daddy be at? Why are you looking at his Facebook? Monitor your motherfucking children. What you watching this grown ass man for? Y'all are done, right? You got a whole new baby sitting here. <laughs> What's the worry about what he do? Have you ever seen your dad hire drunk? But all these mutual I never mentioned you, believe it or not, I don't. Yeah, well, okay. Believe it or not, I well, don't. You know I, you I, don't. I've been to the second grade, and I can use my context clues, but I will tell you right now that I don't think that you're an appropriate influence But like all. you said, I don't mention you. Now you don't and think he's you know, appropriate. Before this, I was going to talk to you about Summer, because there's some things that we need to work on as far as co-parenting, but clearly, excuse you, excuse me. So now you got to talk to him about Summer. Now it's going to be an issue with him keeping his son for whatever reason for Summer. But y'all got orders. I think this is a major And for those of y'all that don't know, a lot of times them court orders are civil matters. Civil. If some shit gets started between you and the motherfucking kids and the police is called and you may not be seen as fit right now, they probably going to tell you to send that child with the other parent until everybody cools off. Just just put it in your ear hole. I know. He can't get you because he's in Caleb's car. I think this is a major decision, and I think that I She's understand. using every mechanism possible to hurt this boy's feelings. Not rocking your parents when you're 14. Caleb does, too. He we loves his dad. Life. He don't like you. And he loves you, too. He don't but like family you. family is family, and we're set up the way we're set up for a reason. For and what? I'm not... I'm so sick of nipples over here. I wish he was going on about his date. Are they on their way? Or? Yeah. This is completely the wrong way to do this. This, this, is, this really is. It's not for you to worry about. This is not okay. I, my head goes off to his I'm dad. I'm asking you. My head goes off to, to his come dad. Because I'd have lost him. And talk Bitch, to you're not going to stand here and keep playing with me. If you honestly thought that you were going to military school, really? I honestly don't think whenever you're playing the punch punch game with me, I honestly don't think you're going to hit me. Maybe I've teased too hard with you. Maybe we're our fun joking family. You're internalizing some of that. I'm willing to work with you on that. But I am not letting you drive off in a car with a man that I don't see as the very best influence on you. And I know that you love him. And I have all. What I don't understand is. Y'all allow y'all kids to go with the fathers for the weekend. When you get upset, when you get angry, when some don't go your way or some changes slightly with the child, it's that man, him, Caleb, an unfit person. He was unfit when he picked me up Friday. Now you got to, I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Always said, have I always said it's okay to love Caleb? Yes. But he does some things that are not some of the things that we want to model. That's not your business. Well, he just does some things that I don't uh, particularly agree with. It's, it's not, not for you to agree with no more. You're not his he problem. Doesn't particularly agree with. But well, what does he do? Those are that's some of the things. Maybe you are 14. You just asked the man was he drunk and high in front of him. Now he's 14. Now you got to be reminded how old he is. Some some things you just don't need to be involved in. You've not been involving him the whole time. What do you mean? I'm not going to reach into the car and snatch you bald-headed or anything like that. <laughs> because I firmly believe that Caleb would shoot me. Girl. I firmly believe that he would shoot me. But as your mama, right now. Because he's there with I'm a rifle sitting on his lap. To get your little bottom out of this car. I'm not going to reach in and snatch you ball because I believe Caleb will shoot me. Well, what is he outside for? I don't even know what's going on with you. What is he outside for if you believe Caleb would hurt you in any kind of way? from Caleb's, you've got turmoil every single time. 
something is going on over there. There's conversations that are going on. He's over able there. to talk over there. Negativity. And it's not okay. You're a happy kid. He lives in negativity, which is what he's saying. You need to get out of the car and you need to come in. I'm going to go get my orders. Get the orders out of the. He you know where everything is. Can you go the cops get the are orders? Enforce them. Who in the house with the key? Huh? Okay. How many times have I told you I will never give up on you? How many times have I told you? Why that is that you something that you have to everything? tell him all the time? Did you really think that I was going to say, okay, let me go get your toothbrush? Hey. Mm. Here come the tears. What are the tears at? I love you. <laughs> but I don't know what's going on. She got to be a supervisor a somewhere. You. You've had we're a team. Time. Oh, uh -huh. huh? We're a team. Mm. And I know you got your family. I know. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna break some necks with this. I know you got your family, and hey, you have a second family here, you know. So I don't ever want you to feel left out or judged. We love you here. We love to see you come in here with your smiling face and do your job so well, and we appreciate you. We appreciate the fact that you do mandatory overtime when you're about to clock out, and we tell you no, stay because we need you another two hours. We're a team, and I know you're kind of getting tired of it, but it's only because we're building a bond here. Girl, get the fuck out the window. If it's bad enough that you don't want to come home, it's pretty bad. I mean, people you run think? away from, like, humongous things. Yeah. What are you, what? Do you think this is normal, babe? Look He's 14, that. absolutely is that, normal. The filming and the, do you think that that is a, that this is a, a, go ahead. I'm sorry, you're a child, but I have to say, do you think that's being a good parent, baby? Because you he's recording you acting somebody the Somebody that needs to be in complete control of he, your deci of decisions regarding you. He's recording you acting the fool. He wrong. That's what there's two. That's a good point. When people... When people walk away from their ability to make decisions about their children, though, there's something that we can't we can't make people oh. do involved. We can't make people do the right thing. Okay. Caleb left you. <laughs> Caleb left you, so you trying to convince your son that he left them, too. If this is what he had to deal with, and I'm a full female, and I'm sitting here watching you, and I can't stand you right now. If he had to live with that every day, I can only imagine. I'd have probably left, too. Yeah. So that's the problem. You're a woman scorned. And you hurried up and hopped back into the sack with old daddy here. I didn't even hear that last time. Well, he's not a good parent because he's recording. Because he's documenting what happened. He's not a good parent. What's happening? To make sure you don't fly off the handle at nobody. And that's okay. He does his thing. Get you you large, we raise you guys, and y'all go and have fun Disneyland times with him. That's how it's been. So the dad is just amusement and entertainment. He's not Somebody's doing no raising. Eat your Brussels sprouts, put your rubber bands on, and wash your blues and grays on Friday night. No, baby. No. I do this for you. I do that you for you. For the Sweetheart, you have court orders. If you keeping him Monday through Friday, you supposed to. That's being a parent. You know how many I don't I don't understand that. Thank Fuck it. I'm I'm pausing. I don't understand that. Why do you think there's a congressional medal of honor that should be given out for you being a fucking parent? At the end of the day, you had nine months to decide. Do I want this motherfucking baby? When you decided yes, you give away all of that shit. You don't get recognition for being a fucking parent. The recognition is in the raisin. It's a gift that you get later. I don't understand no shit like that. I wash your blues and grace. Bitch, he got to have clean clothes, don't he? Daddy clothes clean. I'm am I missing something? Am I am I looking at it wrong? Like you 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 you're you're telling him thank me and love me and come in the house for me being a good parent to you. And and Caleb only takes y'all on Disneyland. If he gets some Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, what else is there to fucking do? And the crazy thing is he's trying to come in now and be something to him and you're not allowing that either. 
what, what is the man supposed to do? They usually send, they usually send two or three cars. Now you're trying to threaten him and scare him. Like you know, this like you said, is this normal? Y'all haven't been through this before. How do you know how many cars trouble. they gonna send? And you know what? That's not really what we're about as a family. We're not a troublemaking family. He's he, he's rebuttaling you. Encouraged to do things that they wouldn't ordinarily do. You're the most calm, quiet kid I've ever. And he's been calm this entire met. time and quiet. Hayden. So there's no reason to send him to anger management classes then. This is not between you and I. You have checked out completely. You're flossing your teeth, and this is this is not. No, no. We may need to go to some anger management. So this is not between you and I, but Daddy outside. I don't understand his, his position and point. This is not between you and I, so you can exclude the main person that you've been talking about in the video completely. You can completely dismiss him until you need to find a way to, oh, some sort of dagger to shove into him to get him to respond to you in the way that you want him to. That's narcissistic shit. You are throwing daggers at this man to figure out any way to get him to say something crazy or fucked up to you so that them police cars can come for his motherfucking ass. Just to keep your son away from him. Meanwhile, now you're not talking to him. Now this has nothing to do with him. This not concerning him. When really, if that was the case, daddy should be in the motherfucking house. Because it's not concerning him either. Counseling, because you said you get so mad. Yes. That, wasn't, that wasn't a bad thing. That was a how can we help you process your emotions thing. So send somebody to anger management because they said they're just so mad. Find out what to get mad about. You don't just get mad. Lots of grown-ups can't do it. Impulse control. Like right now. Oh, I want to do this right now. Impulse control is a real hard thing for lots of grown-ups to learn. Hello. This should not have been handled in this fashion. It's being handled by a 14-year-old boy. But somebody decided, hey... Let's do it. I don't know if it was you. I don't know if it was Kayla, but it was on an impulse. I don't know if it was you it or was Kayla. Like, oh, let's pull this trigger now. And it, this is not well thought out. This is not a mama I need to talk to you. Take me to Starbucks. He's What is Starbucks? Everybody. He has an issue. Everybody loves you in that house. And his dad don't? Your dad and I love you. Oh. oh he's I have no doubt in my mind that Caleb loves you. This is not his dad. To the best of his ability. I hate that. I do not like shit like that. Do not dismiss they pa even with whatever with, with, with the history that my parents had. My mother never disrespected my father. My mama has never forced me to call another man daddy, stepdaddy, father, none of that shit. At the end of the day, this is your motherfucking daddy. That has never been a thing. So shit like this, I don't understand. Oh, that's your daddy. Forcing kids to call No, the fuck he not. I don't give a fuck what he does. The fact that he decided to take you on as a partner and you had these kids, he is now a t he is now accepting responsibility. That don't make him their motherfucking daddy. And you steady disrespecting this man, thinking that it's gonna cause a rise out of him. He is literally here supporting his fucking son. And you find it every way possible to dismiss this man and credit this motherfucker and all the fuck he done did was cock his stinking ass leg up. But it is very different to father a child and to parent a child. Those are two separate things. So now he just ain't shit. Because he not going along with your boo. I got me a little corner of fries, y'all. Mind your business. Can you tell me what Literally, you look at how many fries in here. I couldn't eat that. Y'all know better than that. Every minute that you stay in this car that he doesn't make you get out is like... It's his fault. Not good. I could potentially put my son in yeah. danger. Well, being free to get out and, and being a parent and saying, no, son, you need to get out. It's time to go home. We'll handle this. I'll, I'll You're a parent. He's not listening to you, bitch. We need to have a family meeting. 
as opposed to just, oh, by the way, he doesn't want to get out. You know this is wrong. He's you weren't raised to be like this. You weren't raised trash like this, Caleb Leverett. Your mother would be ashamed. Then you call your son trash for his decision. That's fine. Therefore, he I'm, has expressed, I'm going to help my son. He, he has expressed Period. to me that he loves you many, many times. I'm but he has also expressed to me that you have encouraged him to do this. And I don't for a You're second think that this is all my son's doing. And I hate so Parker, what? that he If for a second she believed that he coached him into doing that shit previously, he would have never been able to go with him again. Or does or not. Just from the type of bitch you is. I didn't even hear her say that before. Ain't no way. She went and got them papers fixed so goddamn fast. He is in the middle of it. Well, I hate it that he's in the middle of it, too. I don't, I, I don't. I don't get a, a thrill in doing this, either. I'm just trying to help my son. I'm, I'm trying to help He's getting son. footage, bitch. You're not either. You're not even focused. You're picking rent off of your thing. You're just holding that up just so you can have proof for court or whatever you Because you're attempting to talk his son to get out the car. This is your Maybe negotiation, not mine. Is this your way of... No, I, I would rather just do everything voluntarily without well, the court. So why don't you voluntarily pay your child support and do your uh, health insurance? That would be great. You just got done telling this kid that this is a grown this is a grown folks conversation that needs to be had. He don't understand this. He don't understand that. Now the man not paying child support. Or got the boy on his health insurance. Now we got to talk about that. It's it's like you you figuring out different daggers to throw. She I can imagine what Poe Daddy go through. I can imagine what he go through. Great. Why don't you voluntarily parent? I, I, I do voluntarily you do? How do you, oh, okay. he, he owns a business. No, you don't I'm think sorry, he pay rent? I shouldn't have even said that. Now you shouldn't have said that. Why are you worried about, about him paying rent? All over the stinking road. This is who pay your rent. You're going to you're gonna have the cops. That's your business. Really? You don't know. This is a humongous temper tantrum. You need to get out of the car. He's this at home. Ridiculous. Where the tears at? Or is she saving them you for the police? Oh, so they've been there by themselves the whole time. Because daddy had to be outside and involved. In some shit that had nothing to do with him and it ain't got shit to do with his daddy. Why are we just waiting on the police officers? Why don't you just do the right thing and get out of the car? Why not go in the house and wait? Because that's this is your home. This is where you live. This is where you're being raised with your siblings. This is where your dogs are. That's where your backpack is. For crying out loud, I'm not gonna bring you your stuff. All your whole life is in there. Mm -hmm. This is not the way to do it. And do you think that you're really building relationships? You know how we talked about family is forever? Yes. Do you really think that this is going to build a long-standing good relationship with you, me, daddy, the brothers, and the sisters? Do you think? The brothers and the sisters, sweetheart, it will not build a long-lasting relationship if he does not like you. It is a lot of kids, especially at age 14. At age 14, I'm starting to come into my own a little bit. Not quite too much. By 15, I can kind of identify shit I don't like. By 16, I'm going to tell you the shit I don't like. By 17, I'm combating the shit I don't like. 18, I can go. And if I wasn't able to speak all them other years when I am able to talk, you're not going to be able to shut me the fuck up and you're not going to be able to keep me the fuck around. There are plenty of people that do not put up with bullshit from parents either. And will go ghost on your bitch ass. Parent or not. This is the way? Yes. It's not. Nobody just does this. The only person that I've ever known that has ever done this is Caleb Leverett. I'm done. I'm tired of doing domestic. And he would take off. He was tired of you, bitch. Stop That's doing that. That's how I know that this is not coming from you. Why because you your heart. So because your heart. Because I love you. I'm because tired of being child. domestic. He didn't because want to be with you I no more. You to raise. 
I didn't have you until it got hard, Parker. Look at me in the face. I never once had a baby and I said, I'm gonna do this until he starts driving me nuts. I'm gonna do this until his grades drop. You wanna roll out the red carpet for being a parent? Baby, you have this plenty of forever. options to get rid of I have it. never left you and you have never left me. All of this is stemming from the fact that your dad don't wanna be with you her. You got something tough, we'll handle it. But you gotta let me in. You gotta let me know what's tough. And I'm sure he has. And she ain't got no shoes on yet. They in Texas. They almost here. I don't know. They'll be here when they get here. It's a non-emergency. Is it going to be a relief when they get here and say this is the order you need to you need to abide and by? Is that not going to worry about your orders, darling. To where the choice is made for you, baby. Because if you feel like you have to stay in the truck to prove that you love Caleb, or if you feel like you have to get out to prove that you love me, that is horse crap. That guy knows that you love him. He knows it. That guy. Daddy and I know that you love us. This is not about picking sides. But you're trying to make him pick sides. You're coming home one way or the other. You don't realize what you're doing? about picking size. What you think you're trying to make him do? Oh my gosh. I can't believe you did this on today of all days. What you finna throw? It's gonna be hard either way. Yeah, well, it's not gonna happen, baby. What was today? It could. No, it couldn't. Why? Because I'll fight for you. Because I love you. Because you're my baby. Because I'll, I'll fight for I'll you. Fight her back. That's fine. Now you got a house full of kids with this man. Yeah, you heard that he left. It's called a guardian ad one. Yeah, you heard you heard that that man left. And you didn't want to you didn't want to be forced to be with daddy. Come on. I'm waiting on the tears. She already turning red. I guess you probably know now that Well, I'll deal with you later. Mm-hmm. Why are you encouraging this? <laughs> he ain't said nothing. My son. Always help your son do He's what? He's expressed to me that he does not want to live with you anymore and he does not want to go back to your house. And I'm simply, I'm, I'm not just going to abandon That you. sounds great. Let's do that on a random Sunday afternoon. It's, they always it's come Sunday. back on random Sunday afternoons. Let's not call and say, hey, we've got an issue. Let's not say, okay, you need to go home, but we'll meet up and we'll talk about this. Where Let's not be? do this in a mature adult manner. Let's He's just at home. spring Rich, this he won't on get out. Did they say they were on their way? Yeah. They it did. takes forever. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It shouldn't take this long. You got my orders. Yeah. What did the court order say? That you have to be home on the fourth Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. He was at home at 2 o'clock. The camera came on at 2 o'clock. If we go to uh, court, Caleb's probably going to get in trouble for this. But I guess he doesn't care. He doesn't. That's his, that's his decision. Well, he definitely has footage of it. Come on, Daddy. Say something. I would much rather solve all issues outside of the court. Oh, well. I've made that very clear many times. We've tried, we've tried Why are you talking? If you have issues that you want to solve, then you need to contact us. Not at 1130 at night in a text message when you're drunk. You so when can he contact you then? He had two beers. Maybe. This is, I shouldn't even be talking about it over here. To, you, you continue to do it though. You continue to talk about it's everything you shouldn't be talking about. And you're just old enough, you're just old enough to understand just a, the tediest iceberg this whole mountain of mess. The divorce hold is on, y'all. Let me hold on. Let me pause it. But I'm just waiting on the tears to come. There's just things that you just can't involve your kids in. Too late. It's just the way it is. I'm involved anyway. 
Uh, hello, say oh, something. Yeah, you're involved in a lot of ways, but you're not involved. Remember all, the all, all the little this. bitty things that, hush, that have happened. Hush. Because you don't need to know that. Why? You don't need to, because. You're already talking in front the of The ins and outs though. of what happened between me and your father, and the ins and outs of what happened between me and your father and Samantha, that's adult information. Me. And we're not my fault. Huh? Do what? Me, your father, and Samantha. Everything that he ain't supposed to be involved in, you have said something to him about. So let me just guess. Samantha was the reason that he decided he didn't want to be around your ass no more. Because you felt the need to mention this woman. For what? She not here. Let's talk about daddy. Daddy here. What? what? And all the, huh? What? Huh? No. You You're my him? baby and no, I'm going to get touch off. You. I'm just touching you. Yeah, I know. Get off. Why? Look how she grabbing it. What happened? Because I'm tired of fighting with you. I'm not fighting Yes, with we're you. always fighting. Every freaking day after school, we're always fighting. He tired. Him too. You're I'm not, tired of fighting. You're not going to yell at me. You always yell at me. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Go ask the little kids. We have talked about this. <laughs> Go ask the little kids. No, we haven't. You heard what we she talked about He's always fighting. walking off. We've talked about this. So he said, we always fighting and you always yelling at me. She said, no, I don't. We've talked about this. How y'all talk about something you're not doing or have ever done? What y'all talk about? Stop playing these motherfucking kids for stupid. Y'all love to do everything else in front of them, but keep it the fuck real. And I don't understand that shit. I don't understand that shit. After they find out Santa Claus real, be real with them motherfuckers. Sorry. <laughs> Rewind. After they find out that Santa Claus ain't fucking real, be real with them fucking kids. You have involved him in... Major if, if the child had any common sense, he literally just heard the entire demise of you and his father's relationship. From the person down to the reason. You did all of that shit. To turn around and then tell him what he does not understand. We talked about it before you left. No, we didn't. And then y'all had an issue before you, you left. You said to not call for extra time on Monday because it was Memorial Day. No, that's not why. Yes. I said because we have plans. Okay, well, still, either way, you wouldn't have let us come over because it's a holiday. Where's what all are you this talking coming about? From? Come over where? It came from Friday. S stay. Bitch. That's what no, I meant. No, I don't want you to stay extra time with him. We have Friday a wasn't resolved. We, this is and what I'm back home on Sunday. Him. I don't there want to come yet. Like whenever there's a funeral in his family or whatever, or there's something now going on, we try to, to work him. together That's for big things, kid things. But if he wants extra time, he needs to go back and he needs to ask the court and sign up for extra time. That's the way to do things. That's well, the right. He didn't have to ask the court for that ass. I don't understand that. Why is it that you two as parents that one point that at one point loved each other? It's the same fucking thing like when people be together and then they break up. Oh, your pussy thing, your dick was little, you wasn't no good, you was lazy. You stayed with him through all of that. All of that was happening with you. And a lot of times they either get with somebody that don't get none of that from them. Because they, they've been made better or they were better the entire time. You kept them stagnant in that. You kept them comfortable in that. So now you're mad that she's being treated like the queen that you always thought that you were. But you allowed yourself to remain a fucking peasant. You accepted the peasant treatment because you felt like he would change into this beautiful butterfly or whatever the fuck you think. But you allow certain shit for a certain amount of motherfucking time. And wonder why sometimes some people just outgrow each other. Because if this, wherever the video is that, if this what the fuck I would have had to deal with, I would, I would have outgrowed you too. Sometimes you just wake up and trauma, bullshit, hurt, pain, all that other shit seems unnecessary. Why am I going through this? When I got a bitch at work that know how to talk to me. When it's a man at this motherfucking job that, that brings me shit, that does shit for me and don't even know me. I can hold conversations with this lady. This nigga give me respect. Like, there's so many other reasons why that shit happens. And you are involving this child in the reason why. You, you still hurt by this shit. Before a lot of y'all have kids, y'all need to seek fucking therapy. 
literally. Because there'd be a lot of hurt and pain, and that's why your kids turn into your best friend. That's why. That's why your kids turn into your best friends. Because you, A, have ran everybody else the fuck off. You don't trust nobody else. And you feel like you can't get the unconditional love because you'll be judged by somebody other than this child. Then you wonder why your child start recognizing behaviors in you that they don't fucking like. Because you've explained to them why this person left. Well, that's not your decision. You got a child saying, I, that's not court. your decision. So it's my. Yes, it sucks. And it shouldn't. It shouldn't be this freaking hard. No, nope, it shouldn't. Then why are y'all making it? I'm not making it hard. Okay, then what are you doing? Come on. Come on. Stay Where is my it, ground Daddy? for my child. So you want me here, but we fight all the time and you're always. If you think that we fight all the time, then we have some work to do. Yes, we do. We obviously do. No, we're actually not. Well, everything's happy until you guys come back from Caleb's No, it's not. We went unhappy over here. And so I. That's how the conversation you know, like is about. He went I unhappy. I can probably put two and two together that there's quite a lot of time. Can you call that non emergency number again? Yes, what would you please. do if mom and Caleb were still married and you were still fighting? Yeah. Where would you go then? What would you do? Nowhere. I'd be stuck. And it would suck even worse. Mom and you Caleb. That this decision separates you from your brothers and your sister. You allowed yes. your husband to disrespect this man okay. with whom you had a relationship to before him. Decision. Yes. And I know, and it shouldn't have to be that harsh. Well, Thank you, know. you for pointing out the obvious. Not you know, trying to be you rude. You need to be disrespectful. Yes, you, are, you, are, you are being rude, and you are trying you to be trying rude really hard because you're being encouraged to be. Okay. And we're not stupid, and we... he been encouraged by what? The mime, the mime over here that ain't saying shit? I'm not talking to you right now. Make me sweat out my bird. I'm so sick of daddy. Yeah, because your voice makes a difference. Bring on the tears. Hello. Hi, hi. My ex Then you don't have to cling on to the truck, baby. I'm not going nowhere with you. encouraging him to stay in the truck. Could you please get somebody out here to help me get my child? You just do it too. And they're just sitting in the truck. And he's filled. You're leaving a lot out. Now, paying attention to what the fuck she just said. She just placed all the blame on the daddy. Baby, it's your son that won't get out the truck. My truck has been here since 2 o'clock. Doing what your orders say. It's your kid that won't get out. Still lying. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, well, I just, I don't want things to escalate, and um, I've got my four other children um, across the street at a neighbor's house. And Why would it escalate? Just need a little bit of help. Is there, I understand, is there a, uh, is, is there something that I can, is there something that I can do once the officer gets here? Is, are there charges that I can press, or? Press charges on who for what? For him bringing the son on, right, right. and he don't want to get out the car. Uh -huh. This yeah. lady is insatiable. Okay. 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 So we'll go ahead and we'll go that way then. All right. Now that lady told us some shit on the phone. Well, she thank didn't you want so much. Hear. All right. Bye bye. That's why Nick turned and read. said that they've got a couple of units that are working towards getting down to us. But, you know. Come on with the tears. The mayonnaise, Brussels sprout juice infused tears. Come on. This is just ridiculous. And you clinging on to the truck like the man that threatened to leave. All he's saying is he's not going to force his son to get out the car. Mm -hmm. That's all he said. You know Instead of her, because I know she has things to do. You worried about other people having things to do. Your thing to do is in this car. Worry about that.
that poor little boy got a headache. He just want to leave. And if you know you that good of a parent and you know that he coming back, the test weekend. the water sometime. Okay. Go ahead on and go with your daddy for two weeks. Let's see how that work out. I tried that bullshit with my mama too. And was begging to come you back the same gross. day. Is that what's on your pants? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Whatever two is. No pills, any orange. Just that sort of thing. Just regular stuff. Caught four baby rabbits. What do you do with them whenever you catch them? I made a little home for them. Uncle Eric's gonna come by. Oh, I thought you, you meant shoot them. I thought you said you went rabbit hunting. Yeah, we did, but after that, we we found this little hole of baby rabbits. Hang on a second. Hey, I need a little help. Caleb, um, I'm sorry. You're still mentioning uh, this man's name. I've got the kids man. across the street at Marissa's, but I think she's got something to do. Come out. Can you, can you come and watch the kids? Because Caleb's filming everything, and he's got Parky in the truck, and he says he's hard to go. In the truck. Parker's saying he's not going to get out because he wants to live with him. And I've got the oh, she had to get whoever well over there quick, fast, in a hurry, so she had to cry. <laughs> there go the team. Um, She was gonna wait till the police got there. She's surprised. All right, thanks. Who was that? Kevin Christine. Now you're involving other people. Probably some people that can help better than daddy. Anyway, so you made a place for the rabbits. did you make? Grass, cat kennel. We just... Uh, now you want to relate to it. Full of hay, so now let's talk to it. Let's relate. Put a ball of water in there and a ball of warm milk. The cat played in the sandbox. She just slept in there. I didn't even know that they drank milk. Everything you could have done because you had a fight with him really Friday and then sent him to his daddy. Then you surprised that shit changed by Monday, by Sunday. Please get out of the car and come on. Let's talk. Please don't make the police officer enforce this order. Please do it. Enforce what order? The court order that's the visitation. You Please crying just because do deep it. down in your what mind you, you kind of feel like he may not. No, this has never happened before. Exactly. Probably nothing. Probably gonna say, hey, it's not it's not his turn anymore. You need to get out of the car and go to your mom's. He's 14 years old, you think they're gonna force him out of the car? I don't think he's gonna do anything bad to you. You're a child. You willing to let him know that? Calling the police out here and they're not gonna fuck with you. I want them to do something to your dad. Why? And he's he's dead ass serious about it. That's not the reality of the situation, Marker. And what is? The reality is being a teenager is hard. And there's a lot of emotions going. I mean, your brain, your hormones are you're taking a testosterone bath right now. I mean, it's just hard. It's hard no matter where you are. You're taking a testosterone it's just hard. bath. He ain't got bucked with you not one time till you It's grab. hard to grow up. Why would you leave a family that loves you for a guy that lives in a shop that sees you 48 days out of the year? <sighs> Whose fault is that? Fight. Because you don't know him, baby. And you don't know what's gonna happen. Parker tired of you. You've never given it a chance. Ever. You're right. You've you're never, right. ever given you're me right. a chance. You yell at me. You've only let us go there two, two week periods out of the summer. It's not that I let you. It was agreed. 
He chose his visitation. He chose that it. That wasn't court order. That was me. He chose it. So you you do that know. That is not a me. Nine times out of ten because he left her, she called for mediation. I can almost guarantee it. Just seeing how she is. When you call for mediation, then people let you state your fucking demands. And then they basically tell him, okay, this is what's what. Now, he's the type of person, he keeps saying, I don't want to take the legal route out of it. So just to get her to fuck off his back, he probably went ahead and agreed with every fucking thing. Because why the fuck not? If y'all hear the dogs, hold on. Oh, okay. If y'all hear the dogs in the background, y'all know I got two of the motherfuckers here. So anyway, he went ahead and agreed with the shit to get you the fuck away from him, sweetie. No other, there was no other reason. Sorry, y'all. The dog forgot that I was fucking working. She had me fucked up. You, nine times out of ten, because you're the woman scorned, obviously went to that mediation, stated your demands, and because this man, I, you can see, you, there's always one person that wants to argue about some shit. Argue with your damn self. You can clearly see who's the combative one in the relationship. That man ain't said nothing because he know what the fuck he dealing with. All I want to do is support my son and go the fuck home with or without him. Whatever he chooses. So you have been doing this shit to this man just because I'm looking at Mr. Daddy here. Daddy can't get a word in either. If he not agreeing with her, he can't fucking speak. I've seen men like this. If he not agreeing with what she say, he's wrong anyway, so shut the fuck up. That's some narcissistic shit. Because if he agreed at all with what the fuck she was talking about, I mean disagreed at all, he'd have to take his ass in the fucking house with them kids. And sit down and watch cartoons somewhere. When you set up mediation from being a woman fucking scoring, you put all that shit into play. At the end of the day, if you and this man were married at one point and y'all done made all these kids, because I think she said I got four other children in the house. You and him made four babies together. There was no need for a mediation or none of that bullshit. You were mad and hurt by the reason and the way that he probably left, because like you said, he just woke up and decided I don't want to be domestic no more. It's a goddamn lie. There was something leading up to that bullshit. You can play that game with a 14-year-old. And at the end of the day, if you know your truth, you not finna argue with nobody. When she said that bullshit, that man didn't even argue with her. Because we not here for that. We here for the person that you talking to. Talk to him about y'all issues. Because he's not scared to go home with me. So quit trying to play that little boy like he just decided I would rather have my kids 48 days out the year. Fuck it. Some people don't have the money. Some people don't have the know-how. Some people don't feel like fighting with you like that. Fuck it. At the end of the day, they still my kids. I can talk to them. I can FaceTime them. I can still see them. But if I got to argue with you to do all of that, I'm cool. I bet you that's what happened. I really wish there was a backstory to this because I, I, I can't make Dang, that part That's a Caleb thing. I want to go see a judge because right now I don't trust anybody. But you don't understand. <laughs> what? Then tell me what I'm not understanding. I can understand that you want to go talk to somebody. And if you need he don't said, what don't he understand? understand not what you understand. I'd pay for that. But what you don't understand is you can't tell him that he has to change his orders. You can't do that. I'm not telling if anyone wanted, anything. I'm, I'm if, he wanted, wanted, if, he, if he wanted, if he wanted, if he wanted, he wanted you to live with him he would have filed he would have gone to court he would have taken us to court y'all did go to it's court it's too expensive candace hello what did i that's just, just say the way it is i'm sorry what did i just we say can, we can mutually well, work this out quit. what did i just say he didn't initiate that bullshit because some people do not have the time or the motherfucking money or the resources he didn't initiate that shit and she knew he didn't have no funds like that she did that shit And you donate all fight. your money to your crazy marijuana causes or whatever you do now? How do you know what I donate to? We live in Odessa. Okay. Oh, yeah, Texas. I mean, I'm sure you know what I had for supper last night. <laughs> well, it's nice to say that I'm a hot topic. Right. No, you're not a hot topic. It's Bullshit. just that you're weird. Of course I am, but I'm also willing to work with y'all. Are you? No, well, we're willing to work with you, too. That's My right child now. needs to get out of the car and we'll work with let's, you. Let's, let's go to the judge. Okay, you need to move that. No. I'm your mother and you're being ugly to me. 
Mm-hmm. You know you're being ugly to me. Now you're being ugly. Oh my. Good. Okay. You need to get your bottom in the house. Because so, we stay in yes. a small somebody town and everybody know everybody's business. No, they don't. You can get somebody that you want to talk to to do that. And everybody can be present. We're going to a judge. Who is everybody? We all right here. It's hard to understand. It's hard for us to understand sometimes how this all works. You okay, so it. y'all don't fully understand. Let's go to a judge. No, I do understand. It's just a difficult subject matter. Okay, we have time. You're talking about we don't have, yourself. you can't go to a judge right now on a Sunday afternoon, Bubba. You can't just say, hey, it's just like this. This is a very You tell him everything okay and then tell him he don't things. understand. You can't just say, hey. How does that work? Court, open up. I got a question. It's, okay, it's, well, let's talk to the cop. I'll wait till they get here. The cop doesn't the cop know, anything, doesn't know anything about it. Okay, well then they shouldn't be over here trying to get me out of this freaking truck. If they don't know one thing that's happening. Daddy got tired. Okay, then you you, you, just, went, you just went back on your words then. No, no. It's just, it's he may initiate. He she can enforce finished. it, but he wasn't there. He's not somebody to interpret every little thing. There okay, then he shouldn't be enforcing anything. Well, I don't know what to say. And don't say that's just the way it is. Well, it kind of is. I know you you going to tell me that. that the cop don't know nothing. But the George Only thing he right knows is the orders now. that he see. And but he's supposed to come right and here. instruct me to come back in the house that I don't want to be in. And this book is law. And he signed it and I signed it. And we can mutually agree to mix it up anytime we want to. You're right. We can. It's and a mediation paper. And had you it's a civil matter. Proven to be more. They need their swimsuits and stuff. Daddy don't even know if they go into a swimming pool, give them their swimsuits. Huh? How many people have y'all called? Well, I've got four kids besides you that I need to make sure that they're safe so I can devote all my attention on you and your temper tantrum. Mm-hmm. You don't need to feel Disrespectful so I can devote all my attention to you, you and your temper tantrum. Sweetheart, or... you could have easily went and taken care of your four fucking kids. He said, I want to go. You could have been in there with your kids. He said, I want to leave. Or would you rather him come in house and run away and go back to his dad? Because y'all live in Odessa. Anything. Why are you doing that? It's a public street and I'm in my own vehicle and I have every right to film whatever I want to. You're so smart. You're right. I, am. I do know my rights, Candace. That's good. That's a good thing. I know mine too. Act like it. Come on, let's go. Having you don't the even right know. To remain like, this is, is the biggest day of your life, and you don't even know what you're doing. What's the biggest day of my life? Oh my gosh, Parker. What? She finna lie. There go the white woman tears. Lord. We were gonna pull your Trans Am around in just a minute. Your car's here. So now you're going to dangle a pork chop in front of the child. He's 14 years old. He's not able to understand none of the shit that y'all are talking about. You're throwing zingers at his dad across his fucking face like he's not sitting there. You're talking shit about court orders and all this other shit. He don't understand that. He's asking to see a judge himself, which he definitely can do. He can definitely go to mediation along with y'all and speak on his own behalf. Because he's 14 years old, he's old enough to comprehend and talk. But instead of all of that, he don't understand none of that, but he does understand the rules of the road. He should be driving. This went from an important Sunday because it's Memorial Day and y'all going to Meemaw's house. We're going to pull your car around. We're just going to pull your car around. Why in the fuck the car wasn't there at 2 o'clock? I'd had the car outside already. Get him all excited and shit. Now... If he don't get out this motherfucking car now that he know he got a car in the back. Because what kid wouldn't? Because now I can get in this motherfucker and drive back over to my daddy house. If that don't further tell you something else going on and he may genuinely not want to go with them. I don't know what will. Okay. Yay. We're so excited to show you and film it. Oh, now you want to film. You mad at his daddy for fish. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> watch, watch, watch. Shit. Don't go. It's 
stay. Wait. Oh. All right, come on. Shit, oh my goddamn nerve. My knee just started hurt. Shit. Oh. Go get your swimsuits, okay, guys? Go get your swimmy suits. She done got all the tears no, out of voice. Go get your swimmy suits. Compression shorts. at the man for him picking Lent. You've completely checked out, Caleb. Will you please get out of the car? No. Can we just talk about this like normal human beings? This is not no, how because we won't talk or yell. We will. Don't yell. The only person that's been yelling is you. Because you're just, not getting it. Neither is he. No, I don't this is want to be here. I already talked to you about. You say we yell all the time. It's you. No, because calm it, down. We can't do anything. He's tired of the fuck shit. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'll kill him. And I guarantee you, when she start yelling, daddy come in. So now you got two people yelling at you. Probably one from this end and one from this end or one from this end, one from this end or one from this end. But either fucking way, you are in a sphere of per people yelling at you. Shit that you don't feel like fucking hearing, especially because you just got out of school. You've been at school all day with people telling you what you don't know, understand, and all this other bullshit. And now you got two drill sergeants in your fucking ear. I don't want to hear the shit either. Because he's not going to be the voice of reason to tell her nothing. Daddy, when I say he's. He's not going to be the voice of reason to tell her nothing. He literally has no ally can't ever work out anything anyways because he either walks off or you and me are yelling no we're not yelling yes y'all are well give it another chance no why because it doesn't happen. i won't you give you another that. chance if you won't give me another chance i'm giving you another chance right now no not to get out of the car to try this you can't try that that's not i don't feel like that's an appropriate place for you parker kelly well, i don't feel like this is an appropriate place for well, me damn it whenever you're 18 you get to pick lots of things but when i'm 14 if i'm 12 i can pick no, things yes i can because it says it in the law it doesn't say it in our orders well it's not there have you even read all the orders? Yeah, I have, babe. Really? Yeah. So you know everything it says, but it's still confusing. Um, Hello. I think the circumstances are confusing. Get up. Yeah, you're telling me. I don't think that the orders are confusing. They're pretty cut and dry. Yeah, the orders ain't confusing. <sighs> she full of it. Why do you not want people to know? Are you embarrassed? Do you feel no, like about this is, what? Why is no, it everybody? I mean, like, how many people are you going to involve in this? Well, I don't care who all comes. Why is it everybody's business? Go knock on every door. I don't want to. I don't need to. I don't care. Calm down. No. You done called every goddamn body. You live in Odessa, remember? This is not going to end the way you want it, baby. Yes, it is. You're making your life harder. And you're and making you your future You can turn them on and off real right. good. <laughs> because if you think you this is like... ugly to me every day it, because I don't let you go live with him? No. Because that's not But if you, you think that I'm going to let my kids see you, if oh. I have kids, or if you think this is the right way to have a long-term relationship with me, you're sadly mistaken. Okay. Well, I will take my chances on doing what I what think is right What did I say? What did I say? environment that I think is appropriate for you. And if one day you find out that you don't want to see me anymore, well, by golly, that is your choice. Okay. But I'm going to do my damnedest, my very best, because I feel like that's my job. I'm not just going to... Well, all right, that one got too hard, and he wanted to go live with the ex, so one day yes. I'll four to go. That's not what this is. <laughs> that's not real life. That's not real family. That's not real family. What the oh, fuck yeah, is real family? family here. Cause he's my family too. All oh, the police, yeah. They're here. Girl. You were just telling people about they swimmy suits. Shut your ass up with that. Way too fucking much. 
way too goddamn much. Can I have my orders, please? Yeah, I'm Blow a fucking half at Get my papers. Well, the kids are supposed to come home at two, and the rest of them came in. I have four children with my ex husband. I have three little, the, right in here. Um, he's filming us, by the way. You are being, you're being filmed. Um, anyway, the three little ones came in and said, You need to go out and you talk do to realize cops film, too. We have not for seen their orders. We had a very strange media this man does not see these children on a regular basis. And all of a sudden, my kids are fine when they leave. And when they come home, I have a child that does not want to get out of this car. And my ex-husband is saying, oh, he's free to go whenever he wants to, but I'm not gonna make him get out. Well, they're filming me. They're being not confrontational, but you know, it's that whole, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. Just, this child needs to come home. He's, he's 14 home. years old. Can I get an ID? Uh, yes, sir. You too. Can you get it for me? Just to make sure they don't win. He's, he's oh. standing here. Get the, up, park. The entire time sir, in the beginning. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. It's in park. That's fine. The entire time in the beginning of the video that they waited for you to come outside, you talking about make sure they don't leave. The entire time you were standing there walking back and forth, I don't know for what our reason you didn't think that this man could drive that truck off with your arm in the door. Make sure they don't leave. Why the fuck would they leave? They hadn't left. And the daddy ain't the motherfucker trying to get into no trouble with you, bitch. It's your son that don't want to be there with you no more. The daddy ain't the motherfucking problem. Your son doesn't want to be there anymore. Oh, gosh. She whimpering loud now. Knock it off. Then you got him asking for everybody's ID. In hopes that your husband's ID is fucked up or he's being looked for. You're going to fuck around and get everybody in trouble. Not just you. Or not just him. John Leverett? Caleb Leverett, yes, sir. Look at him. Where your ID at, Daddy? Now he got to call people in. When the entire disturbance was the kid don't want to get out of the car. Now this now this has to involve every other adult out there. Girl, shut up. Shut up. You been all right. Shut up. She had to go get a handkerchief and some... <laughs> she had to go get a handkerchief and some old shit. She is hurt. Bitch, you called the police. What you, what you, why are you sad that they're here now? What did you think comes after the phone call? A visit, right? It's not standard. We have a standing order. The papers clearly say we got some drug laws. We can possession throughout the year, which is where we are. Second Friday of each month from 6 to Friday. Then you have an order where he gets the kids the second Friday out of each month. It's 30 to 31 days in a fucking month. 28 to 31 days. Excuse me. Video tickets, that's fine. Mine, I know. Mine's going too. Okay, uh, thanks. So, what's going on? Um, I'm dropping him off at two o'clock, which was uh, 55 minutes ago. Okay. And uh, he, my son has expressed to me that he does not want to go back over there. And I'm, I did go by the orders. I returned all four children here, and he is refusing to get out of the car. And uh, he's free to go. I'm certainly not saying he can't go, but he's also, I'm not gonna leave my kid. And we got raw I'm not gonna footage, force him to do anything he want to do. Unedited. Uncut. And you're, she does have legal Pew. custody of them right now? Yeah, yes, Pew. yes. They have been within her custody the last 55 minutes. You absolutely. acted like okay, I, just want, I mean, I just want to make sure we're all mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've got my same, I've got the same copy of the same court order. I mean, we're, we're on the same page. This is just one of those real sticky situations where he doesn't want to go back and I'm not going to kick my son out. 
and uh, the the camera is simply for just keeping everybody um, honest and make sure everything is uh, going by the book. Yeah, that's fine. I guess that mine's going too. We're okay. And what's your name? B. I'm Officer Brandon Spinks. Spinks. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. S -B -I -N -K -S. Badge number one four seven. Okay. Thank you. What's going on, man? Any reason why? We're always fighting, and I just don't want to go over there. But Please don't no, force me to go over there. We're not always fighting. Yes, we are, Mom. I'm not going over there. Kid. It is hard to be 14, but it is harder to do things like this. This is not even who you are. It, yes. Please no, don't force me to go. This is all. Please. Everything is fine, and then. It, you cannot tell me that you have not encouraged this. This is ridiculous. I fought this over through like two or three years, Mom. Oh my gosh, you're a child. You are not equipped to make these decisions. Yes, I am. No, if I'm not. 12 or older, I'm equipped to make Maybe this decision. Maybe if I thought he was an appropriate influence, if we co-parented together on a regular basis, if we were Why do you have to talking and on things were basis? all about you, then by golly, if I really believed that it was what you needed and wanted, I would let it happen. But I do not think you're safe over there, and I will not just let you. At a certain age, you and him shouldn't even be talking no more. They got cell phones for kids. They got pages. They they got all kind of shit where you and him, we, being that I know we can't talk good no way, shouldn't have to speak no fucking more. Not at all. Especially if we don't went through mediation and all this other shit because obviously us being adults, us being grown-ups, we can't seem to meet eye to eye as, as big people. We need to be told by other big people how to be big people. So if that's the case, why are we talking at all? He's, he's coherent. I don't need to talk to you. What way do I need to co-parent with you? I've already allowed you to go ahead and do mediation because I don't have the money for shit like that. I've allowed you to set your visitation that you want, how you want it. I've allowed you to do all of these things because I can't afford to do the shit that you're doing. I don't have daddy. I've allowed you to do all these things. And you still got to figure out another track to put on my back to run across it. Like, I don't, I don't like her. Drive and I, off in this car. And I don't think I'm safe over here. Really? Why? Because you've hit me before. I will hit you again. I will spank you again. Mm -hmm. No, you I don't. You don't 14, spank. You, you hit, hit me in the face. No, you not spank. Yes, you do. Face. And you choke. At 14 you have, years old, you grabbed you my throat before ass. and pushed me up him. against the wall one time because I did my boots and you would not let me bring them over. I, I remember it because we were in the hallway by my room. I don't choke you, Mark. No, you, you did not choke me, but you had your hands around my neck, and you and him were cornering me, and I will not go back over here. What I say? I Please, for the love of God, go. let me leave. No. Please don't no, force me to go, ridiculous. sir. Please, for the love of God. I knew it was something else. I knew it. Come on, Daddy, what you got to say? Peter Griffin. God. That's I knew it. It's either one or two things you put in your motherfucking hands on him or both of y'all are cornering him. But he's 14 years old. You you not whooping him. You not breaking out no bell whooping his ass. Knock it off. And you a soccer mom too? No, you got to show him you ain't to be played with. So you not doing none of that shit. You, you physically going with him. Yeah, you are. He not lying. That baby ain't got no reason to lie on you. words from from a father because what's wrong with it? be honest shit because I think if I if if I had a child and my child is going to his or her father's house and I get told that you motherfuckers corner my child and she's yelling at my goddamn baby too 
Ain't no telling if you'll be able to keep that fucking house. I have custody of you, Parker, and I'm unlocking this car. No, you're my no, child. I'm not getting out. No. Oh, shit. I, I'm, I'm getting you out of the car. Can we ask for the door to be unlocked? You can unlock it. Do what? This is a, this is a parent adult. This is a parent child situation. Get out of the car, bro. No, that's his dad. That, that ain't no random person. That's his other custodial fucking parent. Oh shit, no, don't roll up. Yeah. Oh, no. This is really the wrong way to get, get, get her arm out. No, I'm not getting my arm out. You're not I don't dead. think he intentionally tried to hurt her. Stop. Yeah, I think stop. he was yeah. hoping she would snatch her arm back. Stop. Um, no, I'm not gonna stop. Out of common sense of seeing the door, the window roll Stop. Up. Stop. I can't, I can't. Stop. If I have to use force to get you out. Now that's going to be the excuse. He hurt me. No. I wouldn't be surprised if she don't try and get him locked up. Did I get my... Okay, thanks. And I'm allowed to do whatever to get this baby out of the car? Can my husband help me? Please, no, no. Get her. Stop. No. Stop. Get out. Get out! Yeah. I know. Let me talk. Oh, oh. They done pissed Parker off. Shit. Hang on, Parker. Hang on. He didn't tell you. He didn't. You ain't got to step up. Just hold on. Yes, sir. Okay. It's, this is your mom, dude. Yes, sir. And I understand you don't want to go. Yes, sir. Okay. But she does have the right to get you out of the car. Okay. Now, I, I know you want to go with your dad, and I, I understand that. Don't get me wrong. I, I do. Okay. I'm just saying, as a you're still a child, man. You're 14. She does have the right to get you out of the car. Right. Okay, but the whole fighting and arguing and bickering and trying to roll her arm up from the window. I mean, if this is going to turn into a disturbance, we need to handle this a different way. Okay. Can we agree? And yes. you don't realize, okay. sweetheart, <laughs> this, this, if it turns into a disturbance, which is what that officer is attempting to make it do, because he already probably kind of got an idea. If it turns into a disturbance, they're going to say, y'all need to separate to cool off for the night. So he gonna get to go with his daddy anyway. Stupid ass lady. This man trying to hurry up and leave. So if y'all do turn it into a situation, I'm gonna have to send him with his goddamn daddy since y'all can't just be civil about it like them fucking court papers. Okay? So what you think you doing, you not really doing it. And it's ridiculous. I don't believe that that child was rolling her arm up in the door to, to intentionally hurt her. I believe what he was doing is if I roll this window up, she going to take her arm out and I'm going to just roll it on up. But no, she's attempting to be, you know, I'm my mama bear and I'm fighting for my cub. So that's so she just left her fucking arm in the door. But can my husband help me get him out? No, your husband's not a custodial fucking parent. And... What if you're, because if he would have snatched that window, he could have broke that window out. Then it would have turned into something else. You know what I'm saying? This is going from civil to disturbance. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who initiated the force? I guarantee you. She was, she was trying to get the child out of the car. Yeah, she's I guarantee initiating you. her parental rights. She's going to try and use that shit against her son. Force. No, she was, she was initiating her Just to get him out of the car. Okay. He hurt me. Uh, look that, look at that, what he that, did that, to me. Is that her law? Why? Yes, sir. Okay, you know which law that is by chance? Mm -hmm. Well, I thought in my head no, but I, 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 okay, I okay, have to go okay. look that. Okay, I mean, I, and I understand, but like I said, the whole trying to, this disturbance, turning into disturbance. I'm sorry. Okay, that's, 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 that's where I have, that's where I get involved. I, I, I wasn't trying to roll her arm out, I was I trying to get her arm out. I understand. I, I, I was sitting here, I witnessed everything, I saw what happened. I can't see him okay. trying to hurt him. I didn't say either one of you were in the wrong. I just said this is turning into a disturbance. And need somebody to be wrong, sweetie. Okay? I need you to just get out of the car. So if we can talk about this in a civil way, like adults, <laughs> we need to do it that way. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. You good with that? Yes, sir. All right. I'll let y'all continue this. There's nothing to talk about. He's adamant that he's not getting out, and I'm adamant that I'm not sending him away with my ex-husband. There's nothing with his about. father, with his dad, with Caleb, with my ex-husband, with him. We can talk about what's going on, with how you feel this him. way in the house. But I am not sending you somewhere where I don't, I don't have a good feeling about it, even on your regular visits. Okay, well, I want him to go in then. He can't come in and mediate this. That's not his job, babe. I'm trying to get into it without... He doesn't believe in courts or cops. I'm trying to do it in a... 
a less expensive way. Less expensive. It's not that he Why don't Why don't you go ahead and tell him what you think about police officers? Um, that has nothing to do with what we're talking it about. It doesn't. Why does that matter? You don't have it respect That's for anybody, even your own child. Why does that matter? You don't have... Uh, even there's paid for even you your can't own even child be to encourage him to handle a situation, situation just impulsively like this. this he's is been pretty calm until he's been pressured that from what I'm witnessing. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm from perfect. your point of view and the way you'll edit Tell that, Tell him how I'm you sure. feel about cops. Will you, will you mind uh, emailing me a copy I'm completely? Not answer that question. Will you please email me a copy now of that so I have... The waterworks stop when she's attempting to be a bitch to him. You through crying now. All of that is done now because you're attempting to be a bitch to him. This officer is seeing all of this. You know that, right? And not only that, he's probably done dealt with some shit like this. You don't know what that officer dealing with right now. So you may be digging yourself into your own motherfucking hole, not even realizing it. Record of it also? I'm not going to answer that. Mm. <laughs> Already said it's going to be a disturbance, and I'm not going to stop until you're home. I'm not going to stop until I'm home. So you want me to be arrested for creating a disturbance, or if that's what it takes, Mom? You're scaring me. I'm not scared. To get you out of the car, this scary. What do you think is going to happen when you go in? Trying to unlock the door and get him to open the door. He's a parent. The cop just said he's also a parent that has custody. Okay, well I'm not going. He's not on them papers, darling. I, I just I don't have the ten thousand dollars. I just don't. Yeah, the man ain't got shit against courts, and even if he don't well, like cops, that's, you, that's gonna, he didn't call I'm them. Looking into it more. It, he don't want to go to court. He can't afford the shit, and you know that, which is why you keep on cornering him with that shit. How do I go about this? And it's not a disturbance to where I don't upset you or upset him. I mean, I have legal custody of this child. And he won't. And he's right there. I can touch him and he won't unlock the door. He's having a temper tantrum. I know. What do I do, officer? I can't. I can't. Because then he starts screaming and then you say no because that needs a disturbance. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> And now that you know he's his parent, it ain't kidnapping, bitch. <laughs> it's called nurturing. Knock it off. Go pull the Trans Am around. This is unbelievable. Yes, it is. I'm floored. You're what? I'm floored. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm sure. <laughs> he can't hold conversation either. So he came to bring the, the kid back, right? Yes. For my children. Okay. You don't want to get off? No, sir. I'm scared to go in. You're okay. scared you to go stay? in. You want to stay with your dad? Yes, sir. Let's handle this shit. Go and take him. Why oh, are absolutely. you scared to go in? No, I have. He said, "All right, don't, cause no, we don't have time for this." I'm scared to go in. Why are you Especially scared? after right now. You're, nothing's gonna happen to you, baby. I just want a hug. No, I'm not going in. We can't do nothing about it. Bitch, all this time I've been sitting here, you could have reached in this window and hugged me. You done used every mechanism in the book. You done used your other kids. You done used this baby. You done used a daddy. You done used a trans am. You done used the fact that today is the biggest day of my life. You done used me, mom. You literally have attempted to use any and everything fucking possible to get him out of this car. Unsuccessfully. But you said that I could use whatever necess force necessary to get into that car. That's what I said. Aside from killing him. That's Aside from killing said. him is exactly what you said. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. In this situation, in your name, oh, Ro Ro Rocha badge number 120. Okay. Okay. Um, for this instance, uh, she's going to probably want to do something about it and go to court and all that. I would advise you that you, I mean, because you're doing a good thing in court and all that, so you can show up wherever you need to go. Right. So, um, I don't know what you're scared about. I don't know what he's scared about. There might have been something that happened. Just make sure that his, his father is willing to take it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Y'all can discuss this in a simple way, but his father can take it. Y'all can take him back to court and determine. It's a civil matter, sweetie. That is y'all civil. That 
Is y'all going to court? That is y'all's child custody. It is civil. He can drive the fuck off with him, and it's still not kidnapping. Yeah. You have to take him to civil court. If he's willing to take the kid, well, I mean, I live. It's considered a mess. He's technically in Midland County. He's not just your boy. It takes two of y'all. It's not just your son. He does refuse to get out. Which two of you would have jurisdiction? Midland County Sheriff's or y'all? Whoever you call, don't know. I know. And I'm sure that he probably agrees if he had a child in this situation. It's honestly. I pretty much got to send the sheriff out there. I can only go as far as my uh, Madeline County Sheriff's Office. What am I allowed to do with my child? You know where uh, no, you didn't. You came back. You said I can do. I live in my shop and apartment. My shop right behind me. Just me and my children. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah, 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 you can not do can y'all write a report about this? You said about I what's happened? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, I want to wreck you. And I want to wreck you. What do we need to press charges against him? I'm prepared to do that right now. And I appreciate y'all being civil about this. Right there. Right there. What can we do to press charges against him right now because he rolled her arm up in that window? So you want him to trust you now and you were just willing to press charges just to get him out of the car. So I'm going to let you press charges on me. Go to juvenile and have my dad pick me up because I'm not leaving with you. Either way. This lady exhausting as fuck. Yeah. So you want to you, you want to press and then anything to you know, anything to get him away from no, he's going him. with him. Um, even if he even yeah, if he's going to go ahead and file the assault charge, he's probably going I've with him. I've never obviously never been inside the home. I don't all, all so I'm getting no, is first or no second hand to get my baby no, from him. Can can I talk please? She just called me your baby, but she's threatening to sue me. I'm not trying she, to sue you. Just I'm said you're doing press anything charges. I can to get you away from him, babe. I'm your, I'm your baby, but you were going to press charges on me because you put your arm in the window anything, and I tried to peacefully get it out. to get you away from Caleb right now, you babe. You seem the tension here. I don't. Sir. I don't. Thank, thank you. C-A-C-B. Uh, last name? Leverett, L-E-V. E-R-E-T-T. -E oh, you got his information? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got, he got, he's got my ID. That's why I was I've already ran him. All right, you're free to go. Uh, well, can, can, I, can, you, are you, can you make a, a report of this? Or could I have a copy of this? And she, I don't know how that works. If she called, but we're involved. I mean, y'all are telling me I'm free to go, but... Yeah, I'm not... You, I mean, you, you have, have, it, on, you have it on your recording that says you're, you're free to go. Yeah, but if she I drive up to goddamn street, she can call the police report We're not going to do You can show... The officer shows up, you can show him the end of this video. Do y'all have, have a business card by chance? No, sir, I, I do not, but like you said, I'm Officer Brandon Spinks, and that's the police department badge number 147. Okay. Okay. Um... I... I mean, I'm, I'm more, than willing, more than willing to take him to school, but... Uh, Ask her if you can. We're free to go. Ask her if you can get your school stuff. I mean, you're you're off tomorrow, right? One more day. Can you make sure they don't? Excuse me. I don't want them getting there. I'm not getting there. We can. Yeah, yeah, I'm. My policy. We can't. My policy. I I can't. We can't. You can't go in. No. It changed. It's it's. Do what? Changed it. By what? I need y'all to talk about the bylaws and wait and see. We trying to help get this shit over so we can stand by while you grab some stuff. Please. Can you y'all can stand by? We can stand by. I mean, he's he's telling you he's afraid. It has to be fast though. Okay. It'll, uh, it'll take me five minute stops. All right. Don't even make it five minutes, dude. Make it one minute. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Now look at how big he is. Look, look at the size of him. He damn near to the top of that fucking garage. I'll spank you. You you spank who? With them big ass cowboy boots on. Spanking who? Bitch, you balls up your fist and fights him. Stop fucking playing. I spank it. Shit. Oh, he's out. He's out. Ma'am? <laughs> so you gonna lock daddy out? <laughs> oh, now he ready to do something. He ready. Come on, daddy, with the big thigh.
we left the orders. <laughs> she don't like daddy outside. Stay there until the police come. Till the police leave. Let me know when they're gone. She done locked your slew foot ass outside too. already. Look at how big that boy is. Girl, please. You're not just whooping him with no motherfucking belt. You're not just spanking shit. You're knocking his motherfucking neck loose. <laughs> you trying to make me stay. be a fucking problem, which is why he said, do y'all have a card or a badge number? Because she gonna be calling the police all goddamn day. You got four other kids you need to devote your energy to, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. to slam the door to my own room and force me to stay there. I pushed her as, I would say, self-defense. I did not assault her. I'm not staying there anymore. Well, that is the video, ladies and gentlemen. He ended up having, being able to go with his goddamn daddy. Why? Because it's still parenting. It's still nurturing, all of that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of them civil court papers that y'all got. Okay, you you got to know some shit. <laughs> you you got to you better keep your kids away from it. But this was a lengthy one yet again. But it's alright. We made it through this bitch. Uh, shout out to Parker. All right, thank you for letting me use your video. Parker is now what twenty three? Cause this video was made twenty thirteen. If I ain't seen it before, it was it was today. Years old. It just came out. So fuck it. But uh, thank y'all so much for watching, walking, rocking, rock, watch. I try to think I'm sleepy. Look at my eyes. Thank y'all so much for watching with me. And until next time, mm -hmm. bye.